Okay, I clearly don't know how to use a camera this morning. Hey, <laughs> I can't even do this now. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Cut. <laughs> hey there. <laughs> Where were, oh my God, I cannot get this thing to work right. I can't get it to work. I can't get this to work. What, oh, wait, it's working now. <laughs> is this on? Is this thing on? Is it on? Happy Saturday. Joe and I are out and about. We're going to hit some wineries today and we are going to first get some lunch because we are starving. Tell us where we're going, Joe. We're going to Burger Fi. Mmm, burger. So that happened. I'd like to say that we, we didn't eat all of our food, but somebody had a few extra onion rings. <laughs> I had two onion rings. <laughs> it, was, it was delicious. And now we're nice and full. And so now we're going to go to a winery. Hey there. So today is National Wear Pink Day. It is a day that is all about inclusion. And so um, I am wearing pink, believe it or not. It's a really cute pink top. And I'm also wearing it with a jacket because the style challenge this week is wear pink, wear a jacket, and wear fun shoes. The shoes aren't so fun, but I'm trying to participate. So uh, last night we had date night and we went out. We don't always go out because it gets a little expensive, but we went out because the kids um, are now living with us full time. Their dad moved to Colorado this week. And so normally we have them 50-50, but half the time. And so Matt and Mindy are now officially moved in full time, which means that Joe and I have a little bit of less opportunity of just one-on-one -on -one time, which is fine. So we went out instead and had a delicious uh, dinner. And um, I, I took some video of us eating this complimentary dessert because Joe's dinner wasn't really that great. And we're really not people to complain, um, but it was kind of his, it was kind of lousy and it's unusual for that place. And so the manager was amazing and took care of us. And all of a sudden we were surprised with this delightful creme brulee-esque cheesecake. So it was, uh, it was really, really good. So we enjoyed that and um, had a quiet night back at home. So, and so today I, I have a, a speaking gig uh, in front of a group of female entrepreneurs tonight. So the theme and the topic is how to reinvent your professional image with color. Really excited about doing this talk and I will share that, um, that time with you a little bit later on today. So at the, in the meantime, I'm gonna get some writing done, some content and just some strategy planning for, for my business today. And then maybe I'll just go out and do some shopping. I'm not sure. So I'll see you guys later. All right, so I'm just about to go inside to do a talk to a group of female entrepreneurs. The title of the talk is how to reinvent your professional image with color. So I'm really excited about presenting this material and we should have a lot of fun. The goal for this talk and what I would like for you is to have enough information that you will be able to craft your image and your message simply by choosing the right colors. And I use the word right colors because it's not just, oh, you should wear red whenever you go someplace. It really has to do with the context and it has to do with the message that you're trying to convey. So you're going to realize that what we talk about today is not just about the colors that you wear in your clothes, but also how you use it in your marketing and even in your home and in your own personal situation. Sure, we'll think of structured items like blazers, jackets, those kind of things. And in this case, I would almost want to see you like in just in beautifully in one monochromatic look. Be stunning. You know those blushy pinks, a blushy pink blouse, matching slacks, matching shoes. It would be absolutely stunning. And that the impression that you would give would be that almost 
reserved, structured, I got this pulled together, I'm pulled together, everything I do is pulled together. But you're gonna have, it's not gonna be a very intense color, so you're gonna come across a little bit more open, a little bit more honest. So I just finished recording a bunch of video for a f new free course for everyone and it's called Discovering Your Best Colors. I got really energized after doing the talk the other night and I realized that I wanted to use some of that material in helping people figure out what colors look best. So I just recorded a bunch of video. I'm gonna sit down and edit that and hopefully finish creating the course today so I can put it out there for people. So this is a beer that, so if you're a Game of Thrones fan, then you will totally appreciate this beer. It's, it says at the bottom, it says, barley wine ale brewed for those who drink and know things. How, how awesome is that? It is absolutely beautiful out here. And let me just share with you some amazing plants in my backyard. Let's take a look at this delightful thing. I have, don't even remember what it is. I think it might be some sort of like daisy or flower or something. And then over here, and oh yeah, there's a major cleanup that has to happen. Oh, but look, look, it's a little hosta coming out of the ground. I don't see any others. Oh my gosh, needs mulch. And then there's this chrysanthemum thing that definitely needs to go so I can put some spring flowers in. But here is the piece de resistance. And that is, look at those amazing, amazing foliage. Oh my goodness, it's so beautiful. Oh, and there's one more. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. You're not gonna believe it. You're just not gonna believe it. It's so beautiful. Look at it. Oh, it's just so beautiful. Yeah, time to clean up. What's up, Storm? You wanna come out? You wanna come out? I guess, I guess, I guess not. You want to come out or not? There we go. All right. There's my beer. I'm going to go chill. What's up, Troop? What's up, Super Trooper? Trooper is completely deaf. Can't hear a word I'm saying. Poor guy. You know what we need? We need some music. Yeah, but people throw it like this. You you throw it like over like this. Oh, thanks. That was I'm so just. Okay. Have you ever even seen me throw a football? I okay. am, I am like surprisingly coordinated. Shoot. <laughs> like yeah. that. like that last one. Oh, that was pretty good. Thank you. Okay, so I just finished four and a half miles and it felt pretty good. This is the first time I ran since last weekend when I tweaked my knee, so I'm glad that I got out. 
So um, that's really it. I hope you enjoyed this episode and I'll, I'll see you next week. I gotta get all this video over to Matt to do his amazing editing. So if you like this content, please like and subscribe and give me an encouraging comment. See you later.